By the time you're watching this video, the Xbox 360 storefront has officially shut down. Now that means not only can you not download Xbox 360 retail releases, but Xbox Live and Xbox Live Arcade games, games that were only available on this platform and to purchase online are now unpurchasable. So what are you supposed to do? Well, that's where the king of emulation comes into play because if you take something away from me, I'm just gonna emulate it because now I can't give you money. Now you might remember recently on the channel, we took a look at the Xenia emulator and it's very easy to set up, but you also might remember I had a problem with it. The lack of a user interface. It's not exactly easy to go into a text file and try to adjust everything. And you know, it, it's very cumbersome. It's not very new user friendly or advanced user friendly. Well, somebody recently on the Spawncast commented that there was a brand new program that works in conjunction with Xenia called Xenia Manager that essentially adds a UI to it so you can adjust things. This is a brand new thing that has just recently come out. I decided to look into it and boy, oh boy, don't be sad that the Xbox 360 storefront closed down. Head on over to archive.org, look at the full lineup of Xbox Live and Xbox 360 games, get to downloading, and then we're gonna check out Xenia Manager to see what this bad boy really does, because it's amazing, and this is a huge jump for Xbox 360 emulation. All right, so first off, we have to go over to the GitHub page of Xenia Manager. I will have a link to it in the description box down below. And of course, you scroll along and there's some information on the program. Xenia Manager is a tool that tries to make using Xenia Emulator easier. This tool tries to make playing games with Xenia Emulator easier and installing specific game patches easier and more intuitive alongside having an intuitive way of changing the settings. Now, this is not officially done by Xenia. This is just a fan. And to you, sir, I say thank you. You can see here some of the features that it has, and then you can take a look at how it actually works. The welcome screen, the add game screen, what ends up happening when you add a game, and of course, all the different settings that you can change, which is absolutely awesome. This is exactly what we have been wanting out of Xenia when it comes to basically being able to play Xbox 360 games easily. So we're gonna head on over to the quick start page and uh, basically see here, we gotta download the latest manager release and then extract it and then we'll be good to go. So I already have some games downloaded as well for Xbox Live Arcade things because I am a fan of that. So we're gonna go ahead and download the Xenia Manager here and then we'll head on over to our download folder. Now I have downloaded it twice because I don't know, I hit the button twice. So we're gonna go ahead and extract it to its own folder as it said to do. And we'll go ahead and open up Xenia Manager. So here's everything. Now, if you don't have Xenia already installed, this actually will install Xenia for you. It does say to use the Canary build. Now, what is the Canary build versus the Stable build? Basically, the Canary build is the one that's being worked on. So kind of like with PlayStation emulators, where you get the nightly builds. The nightly builds usually have the brand new features, all the cool stuff in it, but it is kind of a bit of a beta test. It's usually stable to the point of where you're kind of like, well, why didn't they just upgrade this? So so we're gonna go ahead and use the canary build for this because I feel like that's the better build and then we are done we have everything added in here so let's go ahead and take a look at some settings first and foremost we're gonna change things to dark setting because I like dark setting my old eyes are not very good looking at Xenia settings here you can see we have a litany of different settings that we can adjust internal display resolution to upscale or even downscale things so if something's running not so great on your hardware but you still want to play it now you can actually downscale things very very easily change things like letterbox full screen all of that sort of stuff like it's absolutely incredible now you can do all of this in the text editor like i showed you back on the original Xenia video, but this is just so much easier. You got vertical sync, you got different sorts of anti-aliasing that you can do to make the image look better. General settings, so you can add patches and stuff like that. Just absolutely awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and add some games to our build here. So we'll go to add game. And then as you can see here, let me back out. We have Earthworm Gym HD and Daytona USA. So let's go ahead and add Earthworm Gym HD. And this was downloaded via the, um, whatchamacallit, uh, archive.org. 
So no confusion there as far as, you know, what's going on or how I got that. Then this pops up and it shows that this is an Xbox Marketplace game and Earthworm Jim HD. And then bam, it's added in there. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing with Daytona USA now. Going into our downloads, finding Daytona USA. If there's a slight hesitation, it's because for whatever reason, the initial pop-up thing is popping up on a second screen. So I just have to drag it over really quick in order to add it. And then, you know, not, not a huge deal, but if you're wondering what that hiccup is. But then, of course, we see Daytona USA. So we're going to go ahead and add that. Now, when we go to play a game, we're going to want to right-click and um, we're going to look at the um, different things that we can do here. So we can launch the game in windowed mode, install content, install game patch, open compatibility, edit game, all that sort of stuff. So going under Xenia settings, you can go to the drop down window and you see we have Daytona USA and Earthworm Jim here. And then you could see the license mask. It says no licenses. So we want to change that to first license. We're going to go ahead and save that. And then we'll do the same thing with Earthworm Jim. So after we go into those settings and adjust things, we're going to go ahead and reboot up our Daytona USA to make sure that it is indeed the full version of the game, which has the additional content and stuff like that. Multiplayer as well, even though you're not, you're not playing with anyone. But I just love how simple this is to use comparative to how Xenia used to be up until like a week ago. Like, I think this is such a massive improvement and it makes it a lot easier for people who maybe were a bit intimidated by it because of the, you know, text-based stuff to not have to worry about that anymore. You, you're just, you just hop in, you know, it's, it's easy. It's, it's a visual thing. So as you can see here, we do have the additional content. So going into there and changing the license does do all of that. We get all of the options with the game. Of course, we got to take a look at how the game actually looks. But yeah, this is like perfect. You know, I think this is awesome for people who are wanting to get into Xbox 360 emulation because it sets everything up for you. And you can see here, man, I love this game. Rolling Stop like such a classic game everything looks great it's playing great it looks exactly how it should and this is great because you know this was an xbox 360 online game that you don't have access to anymore like oh you could get on pc yeah but i want to play the xbox 360 version pal all right you know don't be talking to me about that and then of course we'll take a quick look to make sure that earthworm jim is indeed the final version or the full version of the game i should say but yeah this is awesome stuff man this is just great i think this is this is probably the biggest development that i have seen with xbox 360 emulation in a very long time so i am super pleased with this like i said the github is in the description box down below you could see this is the full version of the game earthworm gym hd so we're good to go man we're good to go check out the github in the description box down below to get set up with it like i said archive.org will have a lot of games for you to check out too and of course, there's always hard drives you could check out as well. Let me know in the comment section down below, though. Have you tried Xenia before and yeah, it was just a bit too much and now this is a bit easier, so you're going to get into it? Because I really think you should. It's the best way to play Xbox 360 games considering you can't buy them anymore and give people money. And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video. If you learned something today, hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. Share it around. Let people know that Xenia has made a huge improvement. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.